Now, tonight, as I mentioned, is sponsored by Baby Lock, and Baby Lock is known for their sergers. Back in 1967, they invented a serger, and it has changed the way people sew. In fact, a, a serger can cut your sewing time by half or even more. But not all sergers are created equal. But Baby Lock has more patents and more features than any other machine out there. And I have a special guest with me to help with a tour of the Baby Lock sergers. Today I have Kathy Brown, uh, the, the star of Sewing Tech Talk. And Kathy's going to take us through the, the tour of the sergers. And so, first of all, we're going to start with that tour with Kathy. Kathy, take it away. Thank you, George. So we're going to start out with the first serger in the Baby Lock line. That's a self-threading serger. This is the Baby Lock Celebrate, and it has jet air threading. Now, if you've had a serger before or you're thinking about a serger, what is important is that you can thread the machine to make it sew. So in the past, some sergers that didn't have jet air threading that you have to thread, sometimes that can be a little bit challenging. So the Baby Lock serger threads itself. So it's super simple to do. Let me show you really quick how it does it. So we're going to open up the machine. Now most sergers have a map down here and you have to follow the map to get the serger threaded correctly. In fact, you have to thread the upper looper, then the lower looper, and there's a whole order that you have to go through. That's not true with the Baby Lock self-threading serger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the machine that I'm going to want to thread. I turn the flywheel on the side and it's going to find its happy place automatically. Now I'm going to bring the thread down, click it into position, and simply put it inside the port that I want to thread. So I want this to be the lower looper, and I'm going to tell the machine, yes, I'm threading that lower looper. You stick the thread into the port, and I'm going to press down this lever, and automatically the machine is threading itself. So now that's the lower looper. Let's do the upper looper. I'm just going to bring the thread down, snap it into the guide, put it in the threading port, and press the lever. I'm going to tell it I'm threading the upper looper. Boom, just as easy as that. Now if we thread your loopers, of course we thread your needles as well. So I'm gonna tell the machine, I'm done with my loopers. I'm gonna put the two green lines together and now let's do both of the needles. Now I'm gonna start out with a four thread on this machine. That means I have the upper looper, the lower looper, and I have two needle threads going. I typically use this stitch when I want to do something that's a really secure seam, something that doesn't require a lot of stretch. So if I'm doing a garment that's a woven garment, say a pair of pants or a shirt, then this is the stitch that I'm going to want to use. So I'm going to bring my thread down. It kind of looks like I'm threading a sewing machine, even though I'm not. And I'm going to tell it I'm threading the right hand needle. I have two needles in there. I'm going to pull the little threader down catch the thread on it, and as quick as you can say, let's thread that needle, that needle's threaded. Now let's do the other one. I'm going to tell the machine I'm threading the left-hand needle, bring the thread up, down. It's going to cohabitate with this other thread just for a little bit. Come on down and go into the other needle. Just as quick as that. So if I wasn't talking, I probably could have had this machine threaded in about 30 to 45 seconds flat. It's pretty amazing when it used to be without self-threading sergers. Oh my gosh, it could have taken quite a while to get through all the nooks and crannies that I needed to to get my thread going. So let's surge. Oops, I forgot. I'm going to release the looping threaders. Now we're good to go. Now the machine wouldn't let me sew without doing that. I just happened to remember to do it. Now there's controls on this machine. I can tell it I have a blade that's going to cut. So when you get a serger, what the happens is going to, you can tell the serger to trim that edge right before you stitch over the top of it. That gives you the professional results that you see on all professionally made garments. So I have the blade here. I can adjust the width of that blade. I can make it more, I can make it less. I can also adjust the length of my stitch. I can go from a very short stitch all the way up to a very long stitch. And that just depends on the garment or the stitch that I'm gonna to wanna to make. So let's stitch a four thread, and it should work first time every time because it's a baby lock serger. I'm gonna lower my presser foot, 
press the gas, and away we go. So it's a baby lock serger. Pretty much first time every time, because I know it's properly threaded, because the machine did it itself. So this is a four thread stitch. Like I said, I'm going to use that on most woven garments. What if I want to do something that's a little bit stretchier? What if I want to make active wear? So I have some knit fabric. It's going to want a little bit more stretch. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take one of the needles away and go down to a three thread stitch. So I'm going to take my handy dandy screwdriver, release the left hand needle. Now I could have released the right hand needle and had a wider stitch if I wanted to. But I want a little bit smaller, a little bit more delicate stitch. So I'm going to take that thread out, put my needle aside, and let's take that thread out because we're not using it. So now I've switched over to a three thread stitch. Like I said, you would use this for maybe active wear, for maybe a swimsuit, anything you want to have a seam with a tiny little bit of stretch. All I have to do, take my fabric, make any adjustments I want to, and let's make it so. I think you have to admit, that was pretty fast and easy. Now if I look at my, my knit, what happened is when I stitched across it, can you see I have a little tiny bit of wave there? It's going to happen sometimes with knit. Sometimes they're going to stretch. But on this machine, I have the answer. This serger has what's called a differential feed. It has two sets of feed dogs that work independently of each other. Now if I want this stitch, stitch to be pulled in just a little bit to compensate for the stretch of the fabric, I have this lever on the side. I'm going to take it up one little click and what that's going to do is that's going to tell the machine, make that front feed dog work a little bit faster and I shouldn't get that stretch in my fabric. Let's see if it works. There's a cutter on the side, and you can see that that literally made that stitch lie completely flat, and it was just the click of a lever. So with this machine, I have all kinds of adjustments when it comes to that. Now, there's other stitches that a four-thread serger can do, and one of them call, is called a rolled hem. Now what a rolled hem is, is kind of what you might see on the edge of a ruffle or the edge of a napkin. It's a very tiny, delicate stitch, and the top rolls down over the top. Now this serger threads itself, but it does have four tension dials, one for each of the threads. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbalance my stitch. I'm going to make that lower looper that pulls in that thread, I'm going to make that a little bit tighter. And that's going to pull that thread in when I'm doing my stitch. I'm also going to take this dial that adjusts the width that I'm cutting to the setting M. Now, in your instruction book for this machine, you have a handy dandy chart that shows you all of these different settings. You can put whatever threads you want in there. You might have to do a little bit of adjustment if you have a super thick thread. Just do a sample with your, with your uh, fabric and thread, and then you can adjust it to exactly what you need to get that perfect stitch. But I think I might be okay. I've increased the tension on this lower looper. I've changed my, my cutting blade to M, which is marrow, which is the small uh, rolled hem. Let's see how it works. So I've rolled my hem under. That's pretty cool. So now on a serger, you can do all of these kind of uh, uh, stitches professionally, easily. Your first commitment in sewing is probably a really good sewing machine. Secondly, depending on how you want to sew, serger might be your very next bet. The Baby Lock Celebrate threads itself does amazingly beautiful stitches, and I think it might be the serger, if you're just getting into serging, that might work for you. Do you have a deal on the Celebrate, George? Thanks, Kathy. Yes, we have an incredible deal on this. 
uh, the baby lock celebrate it is the most reasonably priced air threading serger in the industry uh, it has a retail price of $24.99 and it's on sale for $999 and I tell you it, once you get an air thread serger you'll never go back the amount of time you waste in threading a non air thread surging serger it just it takes time away from your life so $999 and you can add time to your life and get great results and we have 0% financing we're offering free shipping across the country if you live in Alaska or Hawaii slightly more but wait there's more because of our anniversary sale we are including this bonus bundle which offers a wide variety of decorative thread by sulky and madeira this is thicker thread that is used for decorative edges and rolled edges and and even serger crochet which i've shown in the past and also a six-month membership to love of knowledge this is an online training portal that baby lock has that has all kinds of videos and uh, specifically on this model as well as in different techniques as well uh, so uh, give us a call at 1-800-865-9664 or you can click on the link to order order your baby lock celebrate serger now there are several more models in the baby lock lineup and kathy's going to take you through some of the differences between the celebrate she just showed and the other models so kathy take it away Thank you, George. Well, you know, Baby Lock has all kinds of sergers in the lineup, and there's going to be one that's going to work for you. The next serger up in the lineup is the Baby Lock Victory. Now, what's the difference between it and the Celebrate? Well, there's one big, gigantic difference. It doesn't have tension dials. Now, I'm not disrespecting tension. Tension's pretty easy to change. You saw how easy it was for me to change it. But when it comes to using different threads, going to different this machine has a different patented that's different than a tensioning system. Now, when my grandmother measured fabric, what she did is she would take fabric, take it from her nose out to here, and that was about a yard. That's kind of what this machine does. It doesn't work by tension. What it does is it measures the actual length of thread you need to complete any one of the different stitches. So you don't have tension dials. That, for you, means that if you're going from a skinny thread to a thick thread to whatever size thread, it automatically just measures the length, and the thickness of the thread has nothing to do with how it forms the stitch. What you do is you select the stitch depending on the A, B, C, or D. So if I'm using a left needle, it's A, B, smaller stitch C, and a rolled hem like I did over there, I'm simply slipping it over to the D setting and taking out one of the needles. It's super quick, fast, and easy. So I put in a thicker thread into this machine. I put in a woolly nylon. How is it different than most other threads? Well, if you're doing a serger seam on maybe some active wear, you might want that seam to be pretty soft where it lies against the skin because it's going to be pretty close to the skin. What a woolly nylon does is it covers that stitch, but it's very soft. It also is fluffy and bulky, and if I was doing it on the Celebrate, I'd have to adjust my tensions because it stretches and it's bulky and it's just different than all the other threads. Here, I don't have that problem because it's literally going to measure the length of the thread before I stitch it. So let me stitch out this stitch and I will show you. This is a four thread with a woolly nylon in the upper looper. So here's my fabric. Remember, I have all the controls that I had over there on the Celebrate and from now on everything is included. We just add a couple more things. So let's do that stitch with that woolly nylon in the upper looper. Remember, when I sewed on this fabric before, I would bumped my differential feet up just a tiny bit to make sure that stitch was nice and flat. And it worked on this as well. And you can see that I have that very soft thread in that upper looper. No problems. No tensions to adjust because there are no tensions on this machine. It works in a completely different system. So the Victory really is a step up from the Celebrate. You don't have to worry about tensions.
Now let me switch this machine over to three thread and I'm going to show you that same rolled hem I did on the other machine by just the turning of two separate dials. Now the ABCD, it comes with a quick reference chart and I know that the D setting is the setting for the rolled hem. So I'm just going to flip it over to the D. Now down here on the stitch length knob, it can automatically change it over to the uneven stitch that I want. On the side it says standard or rolled hem. So I'm going to turn it over to rolled hem and now my machine is completely set up for that rolled hem. I'm leaving the woolly nylon in the upper looper and it's going to look fantastic. Let's do this rolled hem. My friends, that is absolutely beautiful and perfect every time. It's a stitch that I'm absolutely proud of. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, and which is the flick of a couple dials, I have that. If I want to switch back to the other, it's as easy as boom, 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 switch it over. I'm now doing that other stitch. So quick, fast, and easy. Now let's go over to the Acclaim because it does a couple more things that I think you might like. Now we're over at the Baby Lock Acclaim, and it has the same features that that awesome Baby Lock Victory had, but now we're adding a couple other things. Now, the Baby Lock Acclaim is the still a four thread serger, and it's doing all the stitches where it's dancing on the edge. I still have that system where I select A, B, C, and D. This stitch is, this machine also now has the only serger decorative stitch that there is. It's called the wave stitch. And the wave stitch, well, I'll show you. The wave stitch goes back and forth and it creates a beautiful wave on the edge of the fabric using two different threads. What happens is every 25 stitches, it changes the automatic thread delivery system to give me smaller stitches and bigger stitches, and it does it automatically. My wave stitch, I think you'll agree it looks pretty nice. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, maybe you'll get rewarded for looking very close at the video, but if you look at the top of my machine, you'll notice I have five threads going in a four thread serger. Well, here's the cool thing about the automatic thread delivery system. Whatever threads I can fit in the threading port, I can serge with. So what I've done is I've taken two very beefy threads, two 12 weight threads and I've added a little bit of sparkle by adding one additional thread that's a metallic thread. It's a standard thread but it's a metallic. Now if you've had issues in your sewing machine with metallic thread it's not like a serger because a serger handles all threads absolutely beautifully. There's really no issues when it comes to thread on a serger. So what I've done is I've taken two threads into each of the threading ports. This one has a blue and that metallic. This one has a red and that metallic. Now when I search, this machine doesn't have jet air threading. It has revolution air threading. That means there's a separate motor for pulling that through on the loopers and it can handle those heavier threads. So if I'm putting the heavier threads in there, I don't have to maybe make a thread cladle like I did on the other machine. It automatically is going to take it through. And I could thread both loopers at once if I wanted to. Notice there's no dial to go back and forth. So it threads the loopers with revolution air threading. But if we thread your loopers on this machine, we thread your needles too with a puff of air. So I literally can go into the threading mode, tell the machine I want to thread. Notice how easy that was. I simply slip the dial down into threading and turn the dial. I now have a guide to thread the needles with a puff of air. So no longer do I have to use a, a, a device to get it in there. It's out of magic and I can thread both of those needles at once even if I want to. So we thread your loopers, we thread your needles, you're easy and good to go. So what are the advantages when I come up to this machine? I have that really cool decorative stitch. I have revolution air threading now where I can thread everything with a puff of air including the needles. It's a pretty amazing machine. 
And don't forget, I have that automatic thread delivery system. I'm still dancing on the edge of the fabric. I put this, for example, I put this um, zipper in with a flat lock stitch. This machine does that flat lock stitch, four thread, three thread, rolled hem. It does all of those plus the wave. So we've been dancing on the edge of our fabric. What if I want to do a stitch that goes over the top of the fabric? I think you know what I'm talking about. I want to do a cover stitch. That's the stitch, if you look on the bottom of your knits, where you pull up the hem and it stitches the two or three lines on the top and covers the back. Can we have a stitch, <laughs> can we have a serger that does that? Of course, you don't think I would have brought it up if we didn't have one. Let's go next door and let's explore the cover stitch. Now, we've come next door to the Baby Lock Euphoria. This is the cover stitch only machine. Let's talk about what a cover stitch does. That cover stitch is the stitch, like I said, that usually goes on the bottom of your knits or even around the edge. When I made this blouse, I used it right along the edge here of my arm's eye. This stitch is called the cover stitch because on the back, it does a stitch going back and forth with the cover stitch looper and it covers that raw edge of the, of the, of the, of the, of the thread as you turn it up. It looks like that on the one side. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this machine, how it's different than that other one. Look at the space. It is more the size of a regular sewing machine. So when I did this cape and I did the stitch on the edge, see how far in that cover stitch is from the edge? I literally have the room to do that because I have the big opening of the harp in the machine. So what was that for? You're doing it decorative. Say you're making a set of curtains. You know how deep the hem are, is on, on the set of curtains. You have the room to do that. Also, there's attachments that you can get for the, for, the, for the cover stitch that manipulate the fabric before it gets to the needle. This machine is ready to accept those. Let, I've threaded it up for a triple cover stitch, which means I have three threads on the top and that one cover stitch looper. And let me show you how, oh, and don't forget, it also threads your needles, threads the looper too, and it has extraordinary threading. Let me stitch this cover stitch and you can see what it looks like. If you notice on the bed of the machine, I have little markings to help me know how far to stitch in from the edge so I cover that raw edge on the back. And so on the back of this sample, I've stitched and I have that beautiful stitch on the back and on the front, I have those three lines. I couldn't have done it with two, but a triple cover stitch is a little bit more decorative. Now here's what else I can do. I can take away two of the needles and go into a chain stitch. That's like the stitch you have on the top of a bag of dog food. And I can use that for garment construction. I can use that decoratively. In fact, I can use the cover stitch decoratively as well. Remember how on the other machine I put multiple threads in the, in the looper? Well, I can do the same thing on this machine. And I've done that on the back of this garment. Let me show you what I did. What I did is I don't, didn't put in just two threads. I put four regular threads in the looper every time I did this. And to get the color gradation, I changed one out darker, I changed two out darker, I changed three out darker, and I went progressively darker and darker. I think you'll agree that's a pretty cool decorative effect that's pretty easy to do on any kind of garment that you might want to make. So I've used the cover stitch decoratively by showing the back and putting all kinds of different threads in that, in that cover stitch looper. I think it's pretty cool. So this machine, little bit bigger than the other machine, so I can get that depth of the cover stitch. I'm doing the cover stitch only on this machine. So you could have this machine to do your cover stitch. You could have the baby lock a claim to dance along the edge, but what if we want to do them both together? What if we want to do them at the same time? Well, I have a machine that does that and even more. 
it's the best serger in the whole wide world. And I'm not being superlative. It's the best serger in the whole wide world. Let's go to the Baby Lock Triumph. I have goose bless just thinking about it. Now, we've moved up, like I said, to the world's best serger. Why is it the world's best serger? Well, we've taken the four thread serger and the cover stitch machine and they have joined together in one magical machine that has eight threads on the top. Don't let eight threads scare you. You don't always use them together, but you can use them in any combination that you want. That's not true with any other serger in the whole wide world. I can do a triple cover stitch like I did on the Euphoria. I can do a four thread overlock or a rolled hem or whatever I wanna do on the overlock side. I have the option to do it. They're independent, but they're together. So I can do that all at the one pass. So when I made this garment, I literally did an edge on this pocket area and I did the back side of that cover stitch to make my beautiful, beautiful metallic. And then I did the overlock here and I did it all in one pass. That's how they're perfectly spaced apart. The machine did it. I didn't have to hold my tongue a certain way and guide the machine so that there was the perfect distance between the two. I could do them all at the same time. Now this machine does with all those different combinations, it does over 80 different combinations. You have a cheat sheet to help you set it up, but it, there's another option that's kind of cool, and that's the inspirational guide for the Triumph. What it has, it not only tells you exactly how you uh, can do techniques on the machine, thread the machine, it's easy, but it takes you through with really big pictures, but it shows you all the different techniques that you can do, four thread, cover stitch, and then the combination of the two. So this is amazing. This is an educator in a binder, and it is super great for the Triumph, because you don't know how to do it. It doesn't have value to you, but if you can look up what you want to do and the book tells you how to do it, this machine is amazing. Now there's a couple other things also that for me makes this the world's best serger. One of them is there's a knee lever. There's one on the Euphoria as well, but this knee lever helps me lift and lower that presser foot so that I can keep all hands on deck if I need to. This machine also has a feature where it's not going to sew if the door is open. It's also not going to sew if you accidentally have the presser foot lifter up. It would try to sew maybe on some of the others, but this has a feature that if you're tired and you forget to lower it, it's not going to sew. It saves you from yourself. That's a midnight special. Now the feature when this machine first came out, I was excited about all these features. There's one it has that I didn't appreciate at first, but I do now. This serger has a speed control. That means if I have to do something delicate, slow, if I have to exactly hit the mark, I can tell the machine, don't go very fast. Your top speed can be slow. And I have used that feature more than I've used everything else because it really helps me not accidentally hit, because she can go fast, it's a racehorse. So it helps me go slow and low when I'm doing something special. So you have the depth, you have all the stitches, the combination that you can use. This is a pretty amazing serger. But also, if you wanna do anything, I mentioned on the Euphoria that there's attachments. On this machine also, there's not only attachments you can put in, but there's feet as well. So I can get specialty feet that help me do specific things. I can do a blind hem on a serger, who knew? I can put cording and piping in. I also use that foot to do a zipper. But one of my favorites is the gathering foot. And I put the gathering foot on the machine and I have this machine set up for all eight threads at once. It's gonna do the overlock and it's gonna do a triple cover stitch. And I have my gathering foot on. What the gathering foot does, there's my wave stitch from before. I'm gonna put this fabric underneath. And if I wanted to sew just this fabric, the gathering foot helps it gather more. 
Remember on the other machine when I popped the differential feed up? Well, on this machine, I can do the same thing. The gathering foot helps it gather better, faster, thicker. But it also lets me sew a flat piece to a gathered piece in one pass. Let's see what that looks like. I've put the I've put the uh, wave the wave stitch uh, get ruffle on the bottom. I'm going to take a couple stitches to get that in there, and I'm going to take this fabric and put it in the slot. What's in the slot will not gather. So let's see what that looks like. Now, I can guide this in really easy, but let me show you the advantage of this. If I'm having trouble, I don't know, I've never done this before, I'm going to make the machine stitch slow so I can just make sure that I'm doing everything just right. I think I've got it now. Let's go up to full speed. And I've gathered to a flat piece all in one pass, just as quick and as easy as that. So with the feet on this machine, with the controls on this machine, with the combination of stitches on this machine, I hope you agree with me. This is the world's best serger. Now, if you can't get this one, the other sergers are great, but I think you're going to love the Triumph. George, don't you think they want the Triumph? Thanks, Kathy. That was incredible, that tour of the Baby Lock Serger lineup. And we have all of them on sale. Uh, so this is the time. If you have a prior serger, you'll get trade allowance. You can trade in your serger. We have huge discounts because of anniversary. The 0% financing based on the model you purchase, so that way it's easy to get the machine that you'll have forever. And Baby Lock Sergers do. They last forever. They're made for life. We also have bonus discounts if you don't finance uh, the surgery.